Lion, lion face. Ah, lemon face. No. Mm -hmm. I'm like sweating. Uh, Are you hot right now? No, I think you're really into the show, so maybe like you're just breaking your sweat thinking about it. <laughs> Once Upon a Time is definitely my favorite show on TV right now. I thought it was just the best show. It is the best. Okay, I'm not going to say it's the best show because there's people who are going to be like, Once Upon a Time sucks. And then those are people who just don't get it. They don't get it. But it is the best show. I don't get it. I really wanted to make this video because I have a lot of feelings towards Once Upon a Time. Um, and... I think we're all in agreement when I can say that hiatus sucks right now and it seems like it's gonna take forever for season four to come on. Well, I haven't really watched the show. I mean, I've I've seen a lot of the show because, you know, you kind of make me watch it. Um, I understand there's a big fan base with like certain couples and stuff. People ship them or some shit. I don't know. I just wanted to make this video to Get to know other fans um, and get your opinion, and you know, maybe. Just hold on for a second. I know right now she probably sounds like some big fake fan, like, oh, oh, I'm, I like Once Upon a Time just like anyone else, or like, oh, you know, Frozen is coming, so now I love who, the show. Who pretends to like Once Upon a Time? I don't know. There are a lot of people well, who don't like Well, there are people like who probably like, we're gonna see you and be like, oh, you're a fake fan because, I don't know, I'm a bigger fan than you. Okay. But yeah. for the record, just to like, I mean, I think the show is like right garbage because like, you know, the writing is really bad and it's like, oh, well, this, the only way to cure this is to think of this magical item and this will solve everything. Or how about this magical item? This will solve it. No. Oh, but you didn't think about this magical item. It's like the writers pretty much like have an unlimited list of like plot devices and it's like, okay, let's get out of this situation. Let's make up this item. But anyways, putting that aside. Um, Are you done? Let's talk about something more extreme, something even deeper than the show itself and how good the storyline is and how great the writing is. Let's talk about like the extreme fan bases that you seem to be a part of because there's a whole community of these little niche fan bases for well, hookers and shit like that. I don't know. I'm kind of an underground one, sir. I don't, I don't really participate. Um, I don't comment a lot on like Instagram photos or I don't constantly tweet about it or I don't go on Tumblr. There, there are a lot of fans and I definitely appreciate you fans because you're what I live for every single night. I mean, every single night I'm in bed and I'm just searching Captain Swan once upon a time and I read like all of these fan fictions and I read like all of these edits that like you guys do and they're amazing. So I just want to thank you guys. So Outlaw Queen. Do you know Outlaw Queen? Um, that is the queen and Emma hooking up because they're lesbos. No, What's that's that? um, Swan Queen. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's a name for everything. Outlaw Queen is um, Robin Hood and the queen because he's an outlaw. Oh, and we have to tell them our story about when we went to sushi. Oh, okay, this is a good story. We live in Toronto um, and we were in Etobicoke. It's like the outskirts of Toronto. Um, and keep in mind, Once Upon a Time films in, films in Vancouver, which is across the country. Like, so yeah, we're anyway. inside sitting down, dining table. So we're sitting down, so we're like here, and the table next to us is a family. So it's like um, a, two parents, two boys and a girl, and like they're all little kids. Like, probably 10 minutes after we sat down, I go to Jake and I say, okay, that kid, like across the table looks exactly like Robin Hood's son. Which, by the way, is like not a main character. He has maybe two lines in the entire season. I sound like I know a lot about the show, but actually don't. I just learned from her. But he's watched all the episodes. So we're sitting there, and she's she's staring at this like little kid the whole time. I'm getting uncomfortable. I'm not well, facing them, but like I can see her just like yeah. Well, it's because staring at them the whole time. He was like directly across from me, but like on that side. So like, how could I not stare at him? We're trying to think of a way to confront them. I'm like, well, why don't you just ask? Because like. You know, I'm sure the parents will be flattered either way just to think they're like, oh, someone thought my son was someone relatively famous, not really, but famous. It's all you can eat sushi, and like, we didn't actually get all you can eat, we just ordered something, but they clearly were going to town eating way too much. And like, I, I saw this happen, I saw the entire thing. So she has a view of little Robin Hood, and I have a view of Robin, Hood, Robin Hood's modern family's brother guy. And so all I see is. <laughs> 
and it's just like a brown fountain comes out and I saw the whole thing and then he just sat there like this after like not <laughs> crying or anything like and then the mom leaves I guess to go see the brother and I'm like okay now's my chance the parents aren't there I'm gonna like I'm gonna tell this kid he looks oh, like right. <laughs> he looks like the kid from once upon a time and, and then Jake's like no like don't go up to that you kid you can't go up to a like a okay I mean the kid is like maybe what 10 years old maybe less he's probably younger yeah, you can't just go up to the little kid and start talking to him before her parents come over. I mean, well, you should no, probably. I wasn't, wasn't going to do anything. Still, I mean, they just had a crisis. You should probably get the parent permission before you just start harassing a kid. I'm not going to, like, pick the kid up. So mom comes back, and at this point, I'm like, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm set. Like, I'm going to ask. So I go up to the, or I, I, like, kind of talk across the table. And um, I was like, I remember what I said. I was like, oh, I'm like, too much to eat. And she was like, oh, yeah. Okay, broke the ice. Um... Do you know the show Once Upon a Time? And, she and was, she's like, she's like playing it off all stupid, like, oh, you know, like, yeah, I've heard of it or something like that. Yeah, so she's like, uh, yeah. And I'm like, hey, well, your son looks exactly like, and like, she cut me off. And she kind of just smiles and goes, it's him. I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, like, he plays Roland Hood. Um, didn't even know his name was Roland Hood. Um, but... Yeah, and then she's like, do you want to take a picture with him? So then I went in and took a picture. Or the kid just like got up and like posed with me. He was so cute. Obviously his name is Roland Hood. If his dad is Robin Hood, he's not going to be like a Roland nothing. He's a Roland Hood. Well, I knew his last name was Hood, but I didn't know his first name was Roland. Mama? Roland. Oh my baby. Roland. I really, 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 really feel bad for Regina. I mean, she's been through so much and it just like kills me, like my feels. Don't you just feel bad for her? Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's like, it's Robin Hood's like actual, like, you know, baby mama. It's like his wife. Yeah, it's okay, like, I'm not talking hey, about- Hey, Jasmine, how you doing? I'm not talking about Robin Hood. I'm talking about Regina. Like, don't you feel bad that Regina is constantly getting screwed over? No, she's supposed to be evil. No, but she's not evil. That's the thing. She's misunderstood. Uh, her name is Evil. Last name Queen. It's, it's obvious what they're doing. I mean, they're setting up a love triangle. I mean, like no, it's this... not. Hey, it's not about the love triangle. It is. No, it's, it's literally. Not. I'm gonna say it. This show is love triangle. The show. The only emotion <laughs> towards the show is that I think Robin Hood is a little bit attractive. I think Robin Hood's attractive. I mean, I mean, Willow Red Riding Hood. Wait, what? Not Robin Hood. Robin Hood's alright looking guy, but I meant a little. They're like, you know what I'm talking about. How do you feel about Rumpel? Rumpel. Rumple. Rumpel. Is that like Rumpel and Belle? Yes, Rumpel. Are they trying to do an impression of like Belle's accent? Have a heart. Rumpel. Don't have hope. 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 I don't even know if she talks, man. It's so. What is that accent? Why do they call it Rumpel? Like they don't call it. They don't call it. What is it? They don't call it like Regina Wood. I mean Regina Hood. Or they don't call it like you know Robinina. Okay, or like, what you would know, you, what would they you don't call, call it, like, call it you... Captain Swan, they don't call it, like, Emma Hook. His name's Captain Hook, her name's Emma Swan, All Captain right, well, Swan. Alright, well, why don't they just call it, like, Rumpel Bellskin? Because it's fucking long. Should be a formula to these things, I don't know who makes up these ship names. If you're, if you're a person who makes these ship names and you're watching this, like, let us know, because... I want to know what kind of process to go through. I don't like Belle. I never liked her character. The minute she was casted, is like I was just like a I don't know. I I love the Disney character Belle. I know it's not about like Disney. It's like fairy tale characters. But I just I don't know. I don't like her. She's just really whiny and she's just like really hopeless. I do think that. I mean, just from my own perspective, I think that Rumpel Stilskin, Rumpel Stilskin, Robert Carlyle, right? Mm -hmm. I think he's the best actor on the show. Like he definitely um he definitely is. Doing less than what he should be. He should be on a bigger show, I think. He should be, like, in a feature movie. Because he's a pretty good actor. He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah. No, in my opinion. I think he's, like, genius. He's amazing. Stowing. I mean, everything's been done, right? I mean, that's, yeah. like, that's pretty much, like, the perfect shit. I mean, I feel, like, I feel there's almost bad for the fans because there's nothing to look forward to anymore. They've gone through, like, hell and back and they lost their kid. And now this is their one season to be happy. Like, but... their, wait, their real kid or their no, 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 fantasy no. kid? Emma. Oh, right, Emma. Okay. Remember they lost her, and now, like, they have their chance to, like, have a family? Yeah, yeah, So, like, yeah, but I feel like they've just, like, been together, like, forever. Like, you know but what you I mean? saw the chemistry at the beginning, though. Yeah, no, I definitely saw the chemistry, and, like, I knew. I knew they were going to be together. Um, but, no, good for Ginny and Josh. They're cute. She got really big. Like, I've seen pregnant ladies get big, but she really, like, blew up like a blimp. She's so rude. So irrelevant.
Oh, she's, she's dead. Just it's like, like just look at like, throw a stab like, at her. It's like they she's couldn't. Bad. Like, I mean, I honestly thought she was one of the most attractive girls on the show, but I, I still do. But it's being like she really like got. Well, well, some girls get big. I like big girls still. So then, for my absolute favorite, favorite, absolute favorite ship ever in the history of ships. I don't even ship it. I like. Luxury cruise, all you can eat buffet, first class cabin. That's how much I ship it. Captain's Swan. As you can see, wearing my Call No Donahue shirt, which has been used and abused. Because he actually said that if I could leave him for one person, he wouldn't be mad if it was Call No Donahue. Yeah, he's like, what can I do? It's like you're obsessed with him and. I can't beat that. I can't be called on you. I mean, I can be like, oh, drive me with my sword, but like, you know, that's that's me doing his eyebrow because I can't lift both eyebrows. Drive me with my sword. Swanfire fans, don't, or Swanfire shippers, like, hey, what's don't. what's Swanfire? Um, Neil and Emma. Other people who are actually fans of them? Yes. You know, Neil is like a loser, right? He clearly can't compete with Hook. You can't even compete with Emma. Emma be smacking around, being like, go do this, Neil. Neil's like, oh, okay, I'll go do whatever you want, Emma. He doesn't even have an accent. Oh, whatever. Go he's, on. He's the, he's uh, Henry's baby daddy. Henry's a whole other fucking oh, yeah, Henry. bag of fucking beans. He's getting so aggressive. He keeps swearing. Captain Swan is probably the best ship ever. You don't understand how much I ship these two. They already like kiss and stuff though, so isn't like the excitement over now? Like they're clearly dating. Like who cares? No, they're not. They're not clearly dating. Yeah, they're like, oh, they're like, they're I a sold thing. my ship for you, and she's like, oh, you sold your ship for me. Oh, mom, 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 mm, kissy, kissy, and then it's like, you know, that's everything you need right there. No, they're not dating. You know, Emma's like, you know, she's not used to being in a relationship, so she's not gonna, it's not gonna come the that heck? easy. Imagine if they brought back Mila. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid because I've read some stuff online like speculations. What if Regina brings back Mila to get back at Emma? Rumple better rip out her heart again. I don't know. I hated Mila. She's old. Rumpel. And Colin O'Donoghue is just honestly like the sexiest man alive. Like, I don't even know, Colin, if you like ever, ever, ever watch this. Imagine if he did. He won't. He has, he has puffy nipples. Don't say that. Now he just stopped watching. The Comic Con's two lies in a truth. How they said Hook might lose his, Hook, Hook's gonna get his hand back? What? What if he gets his hand back and then they slowly turn him into another Disney character? What if he gets his, what? That's ridiculous. What if he gets his hand back and Emma isn't attracted to him anymore because she's only attracted to him because he has that hook. No pun intended, but he has that hook. So, you know, she's all like, oh, no, so she, sexy, so dangerous, no, so sharp. Because he's still hot regardless, and she loves him for more than that. What does she, she love him for? Because she because, because, they, because he sold his Jolly Roger for her. The Rolly Jolly No, because they relate to each other. They know what it's like to be outcasts. They have, like, in a world where they're all alone, they only have each other. In a world where they're all alone, they only have each other. She, yeah, she does. So, yeah. Hey, Hook, what's going on? Where's, where's Henry? I guess. That's my impression of Emma. I I know they definitely, like, Jennifer and Colin definitely ship Captain Swan. They're freaking, Oh, yeah, they, they totally eat it up. They, they like, they face. love it. They love Captain Swan. They're, like, freaking signing autographs, Captain Swan. They're, like, they're, <laughs> they're like, flirty in interviews. Mm -hmm. They're doing it just to appeal to the fans. Like, they're, like, teasing them, pretty much. I don't think they're teasing. I think they actually enjoy it. They like they like working with each other. Oh yeah, they enjoy it. Yeah, they enjoy teasing them. But uh, yeah, all in all, Captain Swan for the win. One true pair. That's it. What do you think about Frozen coming to Storybrooke? Um, I think it's very obvious that they're um, like clearly milking that franchise. It makes sense from like a business point of view because now they can, all the kids and everyone who's huge in Frozen 
I mean, when that happened, when that finale happened and Elsa was there, Twitter exploded, every, every social media site exploded with it. You know, uh, real life Elsa and all the other characters. So like, they're gonna get like a huge wave of like, you know, like a million more viewers for next season. I know a lot of people are upset that there are people just jumping on the ba bandwagon, but I mean, isn't that better that there's more viewers? For people to pretend that they're huge oncers when they're really not, like that's annoying, but at least, you know, more views means more seasons. In terms of Frozen itself, I, I mean, we didn't watch the movie until after the finale, so we watched the movie like way after its peak, um, and I personally didn't find Frozen that great. All of these fairy tale characters already in Once Upon a Time, they look nothing like they're Disney parallels. Yeah. Um, but Frozen, they're trying to make them look exactly like the movie, and it brings sort of this like fake, like I just stepped yeah. out of Disney World. It just, yeah. it doesn't look authentic. It literally looks like they, they just like from the set photos that I've seen. It looks like they bought like a Halloween costume for Elsa from Frozen, and like that's what it looks like she's wearing. Like they should have like created her own outfit. Yeah, they just gonna like walk in and be like, oh, I just finished the movie Frozen, and now I'm here. What's all this going on? They don't know they're in a movie. Long story short, we were very disappointed that it wasn't a genie at that lamp. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I am really excited for season four in the end. Uh, I'm so not excited for it. But I'm excited for you to be You're excited so for excited it. You're so excited for it. I'm not. If the show got cancelled and didn't I always there, show him pictures of like on set, like season four set pictures, like on Instagram and stuff, and he always wants to look at them. What? I don't know. I think I encourage it because I like to like see you happy. You're like, oh yeah, like Hook's hot. Like What? You're oh yeah. Hook's hot with these puffy nipples and it's like, <laughs> oh, jabbing my sword. We're just really excited. I want to get to know more fans. I want to talk to more people. Um, and... Yeah, well. Yeah. And if for anyone watching, the show is pretty bad. Oh my god. Like, I, mean, like, I mean, like, I just finished watching, like, American Horror Story and, like, True Detective. So, like, I've seen but, some like, pretty good shows. But no one cares. See, the people that are watching this are oncers. You yeah, but, I mean? the, like, we, but those oncers. We, we get each other, like. Those oncers might be, like, you know, have a companion with them, like, you know, who is, like, hey, that guy's pretty cool. His cool hair and his, like, you know, cool like TV shows he's into, and like I agree with him. Like once upon a time, this stinks. Okay, we can have your own vlog about like all those stupid shows, oh, and then we can talk about that. No, it won't be fun because it's just gonna be me talking, and you're gonna say stupid stuff. Anyways, like you're doing now. So, did anyone else think for the finale that Maid Marian was Jasmine, and that blue stuff coming out of the lamp was the genie? <laughs> Genie's gonna appear at the end and be like, 1,000 years. 10,000 years, years can give you a crack in the neck. Yeah, Hook turns into Aladdin and like takes his shirt off.